Hey there, my name is Sar. I'm a programmer at CodeHS, and today I'll be going over a few of the latest updates and improvements we've made to the online IDE. So to start with, we have this new tab bar that appears at the top of the editor here, and this is gonna be showing all of the currently open files that you have in the program. So on the left here, we have the whole file tree tab, which shows every single file that exists in the program. Um, but if I start opening these files here, then it will show those specific files opening up in the tab bar here, and I can switch between them and close them. So to complement this, we have the layout menu that appears in the top right of the output panel, and this will let you hide uh, specific things, specific parts of the IDE. So for example, let's say you have all of your files that you wanna edit right now open in the tab bar. Well, then you don't really need to worry about the file tab here, so you can go ahead and hide that left panel. And now maybe you're not ready to run your code yet, so you wanna focus on coding a bit more, so you can go ahead and just uh, hide the output there. When the output is hidden, you'll see there's this little minimize button here that will bring it back. Uh, you can also hide the code, so you're just showing the output. And of course, we have some shortcuts here, so if everything is showing, you can go ahead and full screen that code, or you can also full screen the output so that uh, only those things are showing. So another new feature that we have is the ability to use an alternative editor, which is called the Monaco editor. So if you go to the settings tab here, the default editor is called the ACE editor, and from here you can choose to switch it out with the Monaco editor. And the Monaco editor just introduces a couple of new features that the ACE editor does not have that makes it a bit easier to edit your code. So for example, in this program, I have a bunch of things that Carol wants to buy and I'm printing them out. Um, and now, right now, I'm only printing out how much the dog treats cost to buy all of them. So now I want to uh, print out how much it costs to buy all of the tennis balls. So I can copy this code here. And then um, what I can do is start replacing this with tennis balls. And what you'll see is as I start typing, Monaco is actually gonna show me some recommendations um, and autocomplete, and I can start using that just to make my editing a bit faster. Another thing I can do if I decide that I wanna rename something, so for example, maybe uh, Carol prefers snow cones over dog treats, I can highlight one thing, right click it, and then I can change all the occurrences of that name, and I can rename all of those things, rename those all to snow cones. So the Monaco editor is just an alternative that introduces a few features that make editing your code a little bit easier. We've also introduced a couple of new features that are language specific. For JavaScript, one of these features is auto format. This is accessible from the settings tab in the editor for JavaScript console programs only. And when you toggle this on, your code will automatically be formatted in a nice way when you save, just like that. You might notice that I have an infinite while loop in my code, and normally this would crash your program if you try to run it. Uh, but another new feature we have for JS programs is the Stopify running environment, and this will actually let you run infinite loops without crashing your code. So if I scroll down in my settings tab all the way to the other section down here, you'll see this code running environment uh, option and you can switch it to use Stopify. And while I'm using Stopify, this infinite while loop is actually going to be able to run. Another thing that Stopify does is it lets you get user input from the console here instead of having this big prompt kind of block your way and get in your way. So if I run the program right now, you'll see it'll ask me to input my name and my input I can just do it from the console directly here and I'll put in Carol. And now it starts running this infinite loop and it runs it perfectly fine without crashing the browser. The last feature that I wanna show you um, is for HTML programs only. And you'll see here that instead of having the normal run, stop, et cetera buttons, we have this little URL bar um, that's kind of similar to the bar that you might see at the top of your browser. So now you can kind of navigate through HTML programs just like you would um, navigating a normal site in your browser but inside of our CodeHS IDE. So you'll see we start at the home page, and I can go and click links, and the URL is gonna update here as we click the links, and we're gonna start building up a history. So I can actually go back and forth between the navigations, and I can visit other pages, 
and I can also make some changes to my pages. Um, maybe Carol also likes snow cones, like we were saying before. I can save those changes and then just refresh the page and they'll show up. Um, one other thing that we can do is you can see we have the secret file in our uh, program and there's no link to it from here. But I can go ahead and type in the name of that file and it's going to take me right to it if I press it right here. And finally, you can also open the uh, website as its own page like you could before with this button here. And that's everything. Hope you enjoy using these new features in our IDE.